about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Are we together? When Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights, Satan was waiting. Very strange. Immediately he finished, he just showed up. Now watch this. If the devil is near you, won't you drive him? But hear him, he's walking with Jesus. Satan, walking with Jesus. Please, come. You are not the devil in Jesus' name. Say amen. But watch this. I'm minding my business. And somebody appears and I look and say, Satan, you again. Think about that. This is what happened in your Bible. And he said, ah, Jesus, you are hungry. Turn this stone into bread. And then he said, it is written. And he didn't disappear. He didn't go. He continued with another temptation. He said, Jesus, follow me. Let me show you something. And Jesus followed him. Your Bible. They went up the mountain. He said, look at all the glories of the earth. Hold on. Where is that mountain where a man can stand and see the glories of the world at once? Is it Mount Everest? It's a mystery. These guys just came out of the physical realm into the realm of the spirit and said, stand. I show you all the kings I have empowered. This is it. Like a window, like you just step out into a door and show Jesus all the glories. He said, if you bow to me, I will give you. If you bow to me, that is the mystery of the wealth of sinners. If you bow to me, I will give you. Satan does not need money. He needs your bowing. If you bow to me, I will give you. So when you say you want to be blessed and not bow, uh -uh, he says, no, you can't eat your cake and have it. Your allegiance, and then I give you every other thing. And he said, no, I will have it. Are you seeing? So you just get up and say, why are Christians not getting jobs? Now you understand. He took him and showed him the system. Bow to me. So you want a job, but you don't want to bow to him. You must find out what provision has been made. Because Jesus conquered him. Then he now took him up a cliff and he said, jump down. He said, he shall put his angels charge over you. Look at Satan quoting scriptures. The guy you call Satan. By the way, let's not, it's not that we're talking about Satan, but do you really know who he is? Look up, please. Are you getting blessed? Am I boring you tonight? Who exactly is Satan. A guy with a horn as Nigerian film has depicted no that's just to help you understand who exactly is Satan because according to scripture we see that Satan is a person he can be at a Satan is not omniscient not all-knowing the ignorance of Satan is clear from Genesis to Revelation there are many things he did not know are we together Number two, Satan is not omnipresent. Many times he's at a spot. He can't be everywhere. He's focusing on the issues that are most important. Question three, is Satan down, up, or where? Where does he live now, today? Because when we say down, down Satan, up, up Jesus, none of them is living up or down. That's not the address of any of them. It's not the address of any of them. 
You go up, I guarantee you, you are not going to see anything there. You see that? Because I hope you know that this, our realm, is suspended in space. Space that even scientists don't know. There is no reference to measure where we are at now. And it was concealed by the wisdom of God. You can't, you can't tell whether we're in the middle. What, where exactly are we? You call this solid. You are standing here now, but you are floating and moving around. Think about it. Yet the Bible says it has foundations. The earth, your earth. Jesus himself, or well, God speaking now, told Job that the earth has foundations. Who is Satan? Why does he make you afraid? Please look at me. Let, let somebody be delivered now. Who is that guy that threatens the whole world? Where is he now? If you call him, will he come? Are we together now? Do you know there was a time in the civilization of God's kingdom where Satan was not there? He was not even created. I hope you know. Satan has a creation date. He was not born, so he was created. Are we together now? Let me shock you. Number two, I hope you know Satan is not the most dangerous of spirits. Evil spirits now. No. Of course. The Bible never teaches that. That Satan is the most dangerous of the spirits? No. There are spirits currently now that were bound in everlasting chains. Now, as I speak, they could not be released because even the elect, if they are released, they may not stand them. Now, as I speak, there are spirits bound, but Satan is going to and fro. He's not part of them. I want you to understand this. You see, you disarm darkness when you have light. You disarm darkness when you have light. All through scripture, we see that demons can be told what to do and they can be told where to go. And under certain conditions, they must obey. Are we together now? So how does Satan carry out the advancement of all of these things? How does he do that? You see somebody who minds his business and you begin to pray for him. He's manifesting the power of God is upon him and he's vomiting something physical. Vomiting razor, vomiting this and that. Now that's an ugly scene, frankly speaking, but I mean, it's a shock. I've counseled so many people. I remember one gentleman who said they, their father took all of them for protection. After making incisions on them, God is my witness. They gave all of them two-two razor blade, physical sharp razor blade. The man said, just close your eyes and eat it. The guy said, are you joking? This is razor. And they said they threw it in their mouth and they were shocked. They didn't wound them. They didn't do anything. It disappeared. Nobody swallowed their own. Now, when a razor disappears in your mouth, you have to find out where it went to. Say after me, life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. There are people who end their salaries. Their physical money disappears. I'm not saying sickness took it. You kept 20 naira, you come and find 15 naira. Yet you are alone in the room. There are individuals that have strange visitations by men, women. Strange beings in the night. A spirit comes and then comes to sleep with you. Or do certain things and you get up with all kinds of things you have a dream that there was an incision you wake up physically with a mark with blood was that was that just a was that a story a spirit having an affair with you in a dream because spirits are neither male nor female you understand so there is no reason why you should be having that. Let me explain to you the mysteries behind people's lives that they don't know. Pay attention to what I'm saying. We live in a world that you must have spiritual intelligence. There are four things I'm talking about. Maybe I'll just take this one today. Because I can dwell here and explain to you the mystery behind the happenings of people. Just like that. Life is spiritual. All of a sudden, 
in three weeks promise men start coming to your life to favor you where were they what happened before that they didn't come somebody spoke to you he didn't give you money he just spoke to you you didn't see anything leaving him it's not even that his saliva touched you he just said something to you and you left believing you carried something and you come out and people start treating you in a certain way say after me life is spiritual you had the testimony of that dear lady about the favor how many of you have been crying and your helpers are next door but they cannot speak to you but all of a sudden something happens and you begin to see people arise for you life is spiritual every one of you seated here as many as you are look at people standing outside and i say this with all humility human beings are not idiots nobody comes to stand outside in the cold and just watching because he's trying to what is so special about the man of god everyone say life is spiritual it's not just poster it's not just balloons there are mysteries do you know sometimes i watch people when i come for corner and i see people sit down i know that the spirit realm brought them even them they are surprised what am i doing here yet you are still coming spiritual are we together when a lady gets married and all of a sudden her womb closes watch this what is satan looking for why is her womb closing she goes to the hospital the doctor say you are fine we've checked you you are okay or god we checked you you are okay but then the child does not come at all two years three years five years the child does not come and then all of a sudden they begin to have problems husband and wife and then everything scatters are we together and then watch this that same woman will live in defiance and go and have an affair with another man and get pregnant instantly instanter that means it was never about anything wrong with her there are people who have seen people have prayed for people with hiv it's not that they lived a careless life no no i remember a testimony i don't know if it was here that was shared someone went to bed in the night all of a sudden a stranger appeared held syringe and told the person this thing inside it is hiv injected the person he woke up physically with hiv is there any amount of antiretroviral drug that will heal that person if the sickness came from the realm of the spirit medicine can only manage it the real cure the real cure will come from the realm of the spirit Are we together? Families in disarray because they do not understand that life is spiritual. There are people who will be driving, driving, going to their place of work at top speed. The car will just lock, lock in one position. I've spoken with many people who had accidents. You ask them what happened, they tell you, I tried to turn the steering. I'm not a careless driver. I did my best. I was watching myself dying. You know, I've seen the spirit of death. I know it. It knows me. I've seen the spirit of death. So I know what I'm telling you. It comes to hospitals in the night. Patients in wards. And all of a sudden, hovers round. And all of a sudden, people just leave. And in the morning, you come and find out so-so person is dead. There are times it will come over territories. Like a city, like Zaria, like this. It will just come. It's invoked by powers. They do incantations and invoke it. It can loom around a territory for three weeks. And there are ghastly motor accidents, headache, killing men. A pastor just standing on stage preaching and he will collapse and die. And then after a while, when the invocation has fulfilled its reason for coming it quietly leaves you see it happen break forth thou fountains of the deep and we cadosh you are mighty on your own you reign you ancient zion's king 
Kádos, Kádos, jó májci Abraham, Abraham is returning from war and all of a sudden a strange man appears. The Bible says no father, no mother. What kind of a man is that? Melchizedek just shows up and says, Abraham, you don't know me, but I am a king. A king of where? I've never heard about you. You are a king. Listen. Listen. The earth is not the only place that has kings. Melchizedek said, I am a king. Of where? Salem. An ancient city of peace. Then he looks at Abraham and said, I'm on assignment. Abraham gives him a tithe of all. And he says, Abraham, I want to activate something in your life. Blessed be Abraham, possessor you, of the most high, possessor of the heavens and the earth. Listen, you never see Melchizedek in the Bible again. The next time Melchizedek shows up is in Jesus. Hold on. The Bible now calls him a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Read your Bible and see the strangers that met with men that we never saw again. Never saw again. Never saw again. There are men who started churches. When the churches started growing, one time all of a sudden spirits just appeared to them. I'm the power that controls this territory. We can negotiate all this. Bishop Oedeko shared and said how that it, the Kaduna church was not growing. Still anointed. Still with power. The Kaduna church was not growing. And all of a sudden, he said one time they were fasting and praying. Say life is spiritual. And all of a sudden, he came out and the Holy Ghost asked him to come out. He said, look. And he looked and he saw a dark veil. Dark veil covering the people. He said, this is the veil that misinterprets what I am doing misinterprets it and he commanded it and it left he just left like that and all of a sudden members started coming what is the relationship between members and this have you not heard of people who want name kings and they bury their children correct they bury people alive and you just get up and come to fight them you die for nothing i was in mina last week and one of us the media person met me and then you know talking about the security situation around and he said something he said a particular village when there was war about to happen in a particular village that the people there said no problem that the people just carried their charms and came and lined it in front of the village mysterious substances started killing the armies one of them something ate his hand you don't know what it is those people they have it when the going gets tough they bring it out Are you aware that life is spiritual? Are you aware that your life is spiritual? When you know this, it should not make you afraid. It should give you the key to changing anything. When you know that life is spiritual, you will value prayer. Because you will know that when you pray, among many other things, you are changing things. You are shifting things in the realm of the spirit. My life today, it's a product of this singular revelation. Life is spiritual. You never see me sit down and I'm just discussing physical things with people. I may keep quiet and nod, but I am reading between the lines. And when I get it, I say, oh, that's it. We know what the problem is. Listen, Koinonia, let me tell you the relevance of this understanding. You never will try to fight physical people again. If your roommate is fighting you all the time, know that life is spiritual. Fighting your roommate is when you finish praying, you find out that they are behaving haywire. Don't you know that there is a spirit that was watching while you are praying and now you are coming. All of a sudden, they will pour water on your bed because anger is a gateway in the realm of the spirit. So the devil will try to rob you from joy. Joy. With joy shall you draw. That's why you finish praying and your father insults you. That's why as you are living from Koinonia, you receive hostilities from people. When you know that life is spiritual, you will stop being angry. 
and you stop wasting your time let me tell you how many of us have aborted prophecy you don't know that life is spiritual the moment a miracle is about to come that's when you hear stories that five people said about you satan is moving through men moving through men the moment there is a breakthrough did you hear this about pastor jakes and then you are bitter and then you are angry and the demon say praise god this is exactly what we are looking for and all of a sudden the prophecy is aborted like a woman pregnant but there are those who understand this and the moment they are looking at you you say no no i know it's not you you are just a victim of the realm of the spirit so i ignore them and i keep dancing my way to joy listen when jesus was going to enter a city do you know how he said we should enter he sat down on a horse and said people praise and sing if jesus entered that city silently something dangerous would have happened he listened Do you know joy and laughter are weapons in the spirit? Look at me. Look at me. Let me share something with you. Sam, if you are talking to all of us now and we start laughing and scorning you, what happens to you? Talk to me. Do you know if I am angry at promise, my joy is to see him angry. When he's angry, then what I have done to make him angry is working. But when you see somebody that you are praying that something bad happens to him, always happy and joyful, it will disarm you. The Bible says, why do the hidden rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. Listen, the kings of the earth, they set themselves, right, against God as his anointed. Then it says, he that sits on the throne, hold on. It didn't say he will fight first. The first thing that happens. <laughs> Laughter is an expression of joy. Hold on, hold on. That's why when people are under the anointing sometimes you see them laughing hysterically now you are not spiritual so you just think which kind of men of god are this that's serious breakthrough happening to them in the realm of the spirit there are people under the anointing you see them start dancing i'm not talking of they can't even control themselves dancing and you may not understand when they were going to take the ark back there was a formula it was always with singing and dancing I was I was sharing with you a Jimmy I will just share it to help you I, I think it was um, um yesterday we were talking I got up in the morning about to pray and the Lord said no you are not going to pray you are going to dance before me two hours stretch non-stop that's all I did all I did I was so tired I, I said wait, wait which which style now am I going to I mean what is all this but I knew I'm smart enough to know life is spiritual listen listen that two hours may be equivalent to 15 years breakthrough. Two hours. You reign, you ancient science king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient science king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Is spiritual Joshua chapter 1 2 3 they survey Jericho and all of a sudden it says walk around don't talk just walk around what is the stupidity of walking around life is spiritual you call it madness a man is walking around once and then it says on the seventh day hold on listen the Bible says the fence of Jericho five chariots could stand on it so even if you turn it it will still become another fence are we together there are people who are too big for breakthrough they are too they are they are they are, they are too carnal and scientific for the stupidity that spirituality requires life is spiritual they moved around the seven time the moment they got there he said now tehila don't fight shout shout and the bible says when they shouted listen listen hold on hold on hear me sometimes sometimes you hear people say give god a shout or sometimes you see about to minister and i tell you you are going to shout the name jesus you may think they are just formulas 
stupidly you see this is the once your mind if you allow people who are depraved and don't know god they will rubbish your breakthrough they will say what are you doing what what are you saying same thing with praying in tongues you are praying in tongues and someone sees you and say you too you are in this thing you are doing this thing too ah. you too you are you are joining them at your age you went to school listen listen i tell you i have mastered how to destroy jericho in my life i know the principles life is spiritual when i found this key i stopped wasting my time brothers and sisters let me tell you how to come out of any trouble in your life should i tell you listen after you finish praying listen i want you to laugh and dance dance is a strange mystery of deliverance strange mystery believe what i'm telling you dance is a strange mystery of deliverance Dr. Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko and said, you claim we taught you faith, but how comes you are able to pack over 50,000 people for services? And Oyedeko said, I dance every one of those people to church. See, listen, there is a time to pray, but there is a time to engage other things. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible calls it the sacrifice of praise. It didn't say the music of praise. It's a sacrifice. It will cost you, but it will tear your heavens open. Listen, you have not seen breakthrough till you know how to rejoice before God. There's nothing I know that paralyzes Satan like an expression of praise and joy. It's one of the seven mysteries God revealed to me. Seven mysteries. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me show you how men have commanded victory in their lives. When you don't know the key and you don't know that life is spiritual, you will waste your time. Cheap victories, you will never get it. I remember a woman who shared a testimony. Um, she was barren and then she started bleeding. She, she took him and then she started bleeding. And she went to a man of God who happened to be a doctor. True story. And the man said, Ah, Madam Todd, right now, honestly, this, this thing, of course, you know what that means. It's, it's over. Just trust God for grace. And the woman said, No. I know what my Bible says. The man said, Well, you know I'm a pastor, but I'm also a medical practitioner. When he finished everything, the woman said she did. Do you know what they say? Dancing vigil. Not, not you put vigil and put songs. And you are, she said she danced her way and that child returned from wherever he was. Listen, if you don't believe what I'm telling you, honestly, you can go home. Cornonia has finished for you this night so that you don't waste your time. You are too big to engage these mysteries. Some things will never happen in your life. Never happen. Hallelujah. There are mysteries. When the devil wants to get your life, he will use men. Listen, every time you start seeing strange attacks, it's a sign that something is about to drop. Be careful. Be sensitive. Bitterness will start coming. Are we together now? Betrayal will come. All kinds of things. There are demon spirits desperate trying to use men to look for access to sabotage. And that's why you joy, 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 rejoicing, dancing. All these things distract you till the miracle comes. Find a man who has refused to get angry. I show you a winner. I show you a winner. A winner. Some of you, all this, I'm like that. You will never rise beyond certain levels. In our family, we are like that. If I'm angry, should I not say it? Apostle, I'm a human being. You will sit there as a human being and die like mere men. Mysteries. This life is spiritual. You are looking for rent. And the rent has refused to come. Do you know there are times in your life, there is nothing about you that can bring that miracle. You are not expecting money from anybody. There is no hope of anything coming. Those are the times you engage this. You don't go around just saying, sir, the other day I spoke to you, I'm still here. Or is it that you are not seeing me? No. Let God talk to them. You talk to God. You engage the mysteries. And while you are dancing like a mad person, 
do you know there are people between now and Friday you will see the strange testimonies that will come in your life if you understand that life is spiritual this is the foolishness some of us have adopted oh, we have been stupid enough to do it and God has proven himself in a very dangerous way when we were going for crusade remember when our car stopped let me give you a real testimony the car refused to move they kicked it it did not move remember we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed they kicked it all of a sudden we were tired everybody was discouraged steve strings just took the guitar and started playing that was how we started singing there are witnesses we kicked that car it started till we got to the crusade ground When you understand that life is spiritual, you will know that it's not about your roommate. This, this is the only way to love people. So there's somebody now that you are bitter against, but you are turning your attention to the wrong person and you are giving access to spirits. The devil expects you to see promise. Promise, come, pass this way. And you just pass like that, pulling your mouth. And the devil says, this is exactly what I, I mean. I like this kind of people. They are like robots. Anything we want, they do. But the moment you are passing and he's pulling his face, and how are you? Ah, that's it. You disarm. It's a little act. But you disarm principalities and powers. Because life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Your breakthrough is spiritual. Your husband is spiritual your wife spiritual your baby everything your exams spiritual listen 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 i'm not saying you should not read listen but i'm um, listen let me tell you the truth hear me hear me listen 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 let me tell you something no matter who you are a day will come you will sit down and look at that paper and you will know only god can help me there is a key let me tell you what students do after exams and let, that's why many people fail they come out and then they go to somebody there's usually somebody saying what did you write here don't don't do that thing when you come out walk away don't i put five you say you put 11 they say how did it become 11 you didn't even put six you have failed the answer is five now let me tell you what that i'm not saying you should criticize people are you getting my point when that happens to your spirit all of a sudden you go back and say my god this is it it's over for me my whole life has finished you are helping the demons prophesy to yourself you are helping to speak whereas somebody else will know that honestly it's not that i'm saying you should be lazy but brothers and sisters of what use is the spirit if there's no advantage in the spirit world. there is an advantage we are not idiots believe me You dance an angel to your faculty. You dance an angel to your department. You dance an angel to open your file. Come on now. Dance your way to the admission list. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please believe what I'm saying. This is only one over four. I came tonight to open your eyes. Stop interpreting the happenings in your life. They, they threw you out of the job. Don't sit there and say, Kai, but these people, even my uncle, my uncle, you, you saw me. It's not about your uncle. There's something you can do about it. Stop calling home to listen to bad news. After you listen, close it and say, Lord, I still see what you are doing. I still see what you are doing. Are we together? You hear a word and they say, by the grace of God, your husband is coming. All of a sudden, things begin to happen around you. Somebody just comes and says, you say, why are you putting this marriage sin on your head? And all of a sudden, you feel ashamed, you feel embarrassed. When a prophecy is coming, you can't even lift your hands to receive it because you are saying they are seeing me. They think I'm desperate for marriage. They rob you of your joy. They rob you of your peace. You never get your miracle. Once you sit down, then the devil uses anger. You now sit down, you are talking about other people's relationship and marriage. Tearing people down and sowing a seed that will have a boomerang effect on you. Because life is spiritual. Hear what Proverbs says. It says, be careful as you speak for the birds will carry your words. Have you seen those birds before? The birds will carry your words.
My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. I cannot stop anybody from carrying charm, but I can stop it from touching me. I know what to do. I know what to do. I can't stop the spirit of death from standing on the road, oh Kai. But there is something. There is something that even if it's the devil that drives, he will drive me safely. These are not these are not empty talks. This is what dominion is all about. I'm training you. I'm giving you spiritual intelligence. From now, when you walk out of this place, for some of you right now, there is a text message, a heavy insult waiting for you to read. Now, hold on. You now know that you don't just turn and call people devils, but you just enter and your roommate, who right now as you are here, they are talking about you, and the Lord tells you, should I tell you how to win? Buy five for life. Go and drop it and say, people, this is for you. And you are saying, ah, uh ah, -uh, God, to be that much of an idiot. No, somebody that did this is this lady that stopped me from marrying. She said something bad to one good military man who would have married me. And God says, buy malt, a carton of malt, and go and greet her. Or God will say, wash their plates. I know they dirtied your bed. She just change it, sing praises, and wash your plates. Listen, when you disarm powers, you will see God rise in a fearful way. Are we together? Bitterness, anger, envy are more wicked than, than anything you can think about. They destroy you. They are like a cancer that sabotages you. Many of our parents, you know why they may never prosper? They are angry at everybody. There are people now, if they see me coming, I see people frown. All Is he the guy? That's him. How are they getting money? Look at these this, this young boys. And so the angel, the grace for the blessing is authorized to live your life. Because anything you don't honor cannot be your inheritance. Are we together now? What are they? Be careful, oh, all these young guys standing. How can people be standing outside? Are you worshipping a man? Are you foolish? Don't castigate anybody, but just know that those are joy robbers. The moment they start speaking, know that your blessing has left heaven and it's about to come and land in your life. Are we together? Life is spiritual. Let me just narrow it down so that we can pray. The mystery of praise in a dance. In a dance. You hear me talking about this dancing thing. I'm not a dancer. You don't have to be a dancer. But if you want to move forward, you dance anyhow to your breakthrough. Anyhow. You are too big to dance your way to breakthrough. I tell you, you are too big to have an open heavens. It will never, never open. Ask David. David the king. The custodian of mysteries. When he was dancing and rejoicing, his arrogant wife came and said, what is this? I'm not saying you should dance in a nude and an ungodly way. I don't know David's dance, but I know the dance that is not David's dance. Let me balance it quickly. I, I was not there with David, but I know the dance that is not David's dance. There are many dance around that is not David's dance. Are we together? David's dance comes from a genuine heart. Not a heart of seduction and stupidity. David's dance is a genuine heart that is focused on God, directed to him. So let's, we're talking about David's dance here. David was dancing and the wife, who was too big, now came and said, what is this thing you are doing? You are a king. And David said, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know I was in the wilderness. Do you know what happened from there? The wilderness that brought me here. And I'm dancing, and you don't know that I got you by dancing. Of course. It's a mystery I've been practicing. You are Saul's daughter. You don't even know how you just came like that. You came as an inheritance. The Bible may not record it, but I believe he finished his dance and carried his sling and went to Goliath. And said, have you done your own dance, Goliath? Because if you have not done it, you are about to go down. Hallelujah. I believe in the mystery of praise. Please hear me. The mystery of praise. Psalms 149, give it to us. One of the mysteries will touch this night. Because this is a year of triumph. 
and i will be wicked if i don't share with you the secrets i operate in my own life psalms 149 please praise ye the lord sing unto the lord a new song listen and praise him in the congregation of saints verse 2 let israel rejoice in him that had made him let the children of zion be what in who they are king three let them praise his name what let them praise his name in a dance let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. four we are reading down for the lord taketh pleasure in his people he will do what beautify those who are humble enough he will beautify them with salvation next verse let the saints do what be joyful in glory let them sing aloud on their listen hold on just stay there let me explain this to you he says while you are lying down and all of a sudden do you know it's when people lie down that the devil brings thoughts i hope you know the bill is still there and all of a sudden oh lord you are good i know you are faithful i know you are faithful let the even on their bed verse six now here is the warfare dimension of praise he said let the high praises of god be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands next verse to execute what vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people not by chasing them that while you are praising and dancing it is vengeance you are speaking in the camp of the enemy to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron there is something called the written judgment to execute upon them what hold on how do you execute it your own is to mind your business knowing that life is spiritual i know they said you are not from so 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 tribe they walk together and sack you don't go telling people to hate these people go to your secret place and start praising and see what happens in that office are we together it says this honor have how many the honor of expressing breakthrough there are some things that god gave apostles prophets teachers but he said this one this honor of experiencing breakthrough have all the saints praise ye the lord cheap victories cheap victories by understanding life is spiritual and you carry all let me tell you another mystery carry all your challenges write it on a paper and dance before it put it on the ground and celebrate god before it like a madman don't worry just be that stupid and see what happens a child is not coming i know that me for sure i'm getting zero in this and that and begin to celebrate him celebrate him people will look at you and say what are you doing i'm praising him why what did he do no testimony you had start doing all these church things that people do like fools you're married you go and lock you and your wife and tell yourself we are dancing our next level when jesus was entering the city what did he do sat down on a donkey and had people praising and rejoicing it was that atmosphere it says psalm 100 please psalm 100 someone's life is about to change it says make a joyful noise hold on are you seeing another mystery joyful what hallelujah hallelujah listen praise the lord listen listen he didn't say make noise making noise is not good even for your health he said a joyful noise hold on do you know what a joyful noise is the revelation behind it i'm not just shouting as an idiot i'm showing you mysteries now praising a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands verse 2 serve him with gladness 
Look at how many times God talks about this. What is the protocol for accessing his presence? Come before his presence with, not with mourning. Hold on. Oh God, I thought the other time, what? don't give me any dream again. If I keep seeing money in my dream, and yet nobody sends me any alert. Are you not the God of heaven? I've been serving in Koinonia. Let me tell you what you are doing. You are just moving backward. Believe me, believe me, you are moving backward. Because a, a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Verse 3. Know that the Lord he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. So have this revelation. He said we are the sheep of his pastures. He will not deny you anything. There's too much gloominess and mourning. That's why I, I listen to the news just for the purpose of leadership but ask anybody who knows me i have no time listening to all this analysis and all this junk this and that is happening uh this and that dollar is one million to this i don't know what happened but all i know is that for with joy shall you draw from the wells of salvation praise the lord if god calls this year a year of triumph you must stop acting like mere men they can predict your life. They know when money is missing from your life. Your face will show it. Anybody in this room that took what doesn't belong to him, except I'm not a member of Koinonia, you think you are being spiritual, but that's not how to disarm powers. Strange principles that will lift. I'm telling you, this principle of praise with a dance and a shout of praise is uh, permit me to use the word a wicked principle you want to see speed in your life do this and see what happens make up your mind complaining the bible says do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may be called blameless children of god right the world is full of angry people do you know the classic sign that someone needs deliverance is anger? Anger. Offense. Everything offends you. Right now, after Koinonia, they say turn and hug somebody. You just turn and found out that they left you alone. That alone is enough to bring anger. Are you not my partner? Why are you turning to the other person? You are trying to say I'm not good enough. You are giving the devil. Hold on, don't laugh. You are giving the devil access. I choose to be a happy person now. You come, I'm, I'm, I'm a joyous, joyous, joyous. He said, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, again, I repeat it. Koinonia, hear me. Many people will laugh at what you are doing. But they will not deny the result. The result will be strange. I guarantee you. I don't share my testimonies again so that it will not be as if I'm coming to Koinonia and all I'm saying. But there are things I will share with you, you will not be able to sleep that were gotten on the platform of engaging these mysteries let me tell you another strange thing the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy works with three things one a joyful noise listen you can never never walk in the prophetic without joy the spirit the spirit the true spirit of prophecy works with joy when I see angry people who say they are prophets, it's a joke. The spirit of prophecy. Let me tell you, most people who do different religions, do you know how they invoke the anointing upon mediums? They play instruments, they do music. You've seen masquerades. They are moving, playing with fire, somebody jumping on somebody, and then they reach a crescendo when a spirit lands on the head of whoever is the medium, and all of a sudden he starts prophesying. Are we together? The prophet said, bring me a mistrial. And as he began to play the mistrial, he said, the hand of the Lord came upon him. And then he began to prophesy. You shall not see wind. You shall not see rain. But the valley. Now, that strange breakthrough. No rain. No wind. But the valley filled with water. Are we together? I'm telling you, I have, if I believe with all my heart that I have fast tracked somebody's life now with this revelation. With this revelation. Call your parents. All this complaint. 
all this complaint. My daughter, when will you marry now? Is it that there are no men in Koinonia? Is it that you are sitting outside? Eh? You don't, you are not serving in any department. You, you think I don't know what people say all around? That's, that's nonsense. You can be in the third overflow, dancing your destiny, and somebody seated here. Huh? God will force him to go and do something outside and see his destiny there. So it's not, it's not about all these games that people play. No. The favor of God can come upon your life. You step into the office. Your director did not intend talking to you. But you say, um, okay. She was not in that list. It's her name there. Please add it. You people should come and see me. See, even me, Joshua Selman, there are people who have helped that I didn't, I didn't plan to. I just saw the joy and the ecstasy. Don't ever frown and come and see if I cause your problems. No. Come with joy. You are bubbling. I'm not saying fake it. But they are happy. The joy of the Lord is their strength. You are compelled to bless them. Watch the visitors that come to your house. Somebody just comes and knocks. Are you around? Say, please, can I get cold water before I talk to you? You are in a hurry for them to leave. Because you see, let me tell you, depression has a presence. Depression has a presence. Someone can step into your life, kill your joy, close your heavens, and walk away. We are going to sing before the Lord for two or three minutes and command some fearful results. Fearful results. Fearful results. Fearful results. But before we get there, I want you to open your mouth and blast in tongues for the next six to seven minutes from the depth of your heart. Lift your voice and pray. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Leka paroto soto bakata balala 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 balala. My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. My life is spiritual. Shabras kata bas ke barato shobra na balala balala balala. Shekete prakoto sodo bagada balala balala balala. My life is spiritual. Skata parata kas kabaria teko sodo balala balala balala. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. Life is spiritual. So take it, take it, take it, take it, take Pray, la kata paratos ko parata kache, lekete preteketos. My breakthrough is spiritual. My job is spiritual. Maka prata kata barata kete. Don't stop. Don't stop. You are aligning your spirit for breakthrough. So pekete kete kete, lekoto pras kata balada 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 balada. Shabratos kabrata kata balaba. Shobros koto parato seba. Shaba parata taba bakata kate. Enkretos koske parato shobrege de balaba balaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. Listen. You are going to say, Father. Take away any carnal interpretation. I've been interpreting things wrongly. That's why the doors have closed. I thought it was my mother. I thought it was my father. I obtained mercy and forgiveness for blaming people wrongly. Lift your voice and pray. I obtained mercy for wrong interpretation. I obtained mercy. Obtain mercy, pray. Shaka tabarato so pekete, lekete cross kabarato so pekete, rabato so prete shebele kotosh, embrata kata babarato. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I want you to pray this next prayer point with all your heart, Lord. 
the spirit of bitterness anger unforgiveness that has been tying down my next level i cross it from my life lift your voice and pray i cross it from my life i cross it from my destiny pray pray it's a year of triumph it's a year of triumph La baka to katas kapratas ke leba shodos rake te kate bara na bara na bara na bara na bos so pronto so to prete bara na rake te bara ke te kosho bara na bara la kreto so preke te e kreto so to baka te bara na bara na bato so preke te ke te reke to so preto shabaya na bara na Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? Lord, I challenge the spirit of fear and worry. Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. These spirits work like twins. Fear and worry. Worry about whether or not you will make it. Worry about whether or not you will get the job. Fear comes and then you start worrying. Will I ever marry? Will I ever have a child? Will I ever do well? They are dangerous spirits. Lift your voice and curse them by the God of heaven. I cause worry. I cause worry. I cause worry. Shake it, shake it, bala 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 bala. I cause fear. You are of the devil. God has not given me the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear. I reject you. I reject you. I reject you from my life. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. listen hold on hold on please hold on hold on hold on so that we can make progress we are going to give God listen hold on please we are going to give God three 
I tell you, if you know the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit, just with this little dance, you dance. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Believe me when I tell you these mysteries are fearful instruments of deliverance. We are going to give God, hold on, please. We are going to give God, listen, hold on, hold on. We are going to give God three shouts, three sets. Hold on, I will direct you. Just three shouts from your heart. I know that it may not make sense to you, but when I say shout, I want you to rejoice and then the second and then the third shout you see what happened in Jericho the walls of Jericho you will be surprised Hallelujah. Hold on. Koinonia, hold on. Hold on. Just praise God. Just follow my directives. Some of you will not even be able to shout the third one. Hold on. Are you ready now? Listen. Hold on. Listen. It is not an ordinary shout. There is an anointing upon it. It's a shout of warfare. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe me believe me you will command a level of results that will make you afraid you are disarming powers beyond your imagination are you ready now fathers we obey you i pray that you honor your name put your name upon this shout shout number one are you ready now go ahead and shout keep going Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. The second shout, listen, that we're about to shout is a shout of strange open doors. Hold on. Strange. Believe what I'm telling you. The anointing of the Spirit is upon me. A shout of strange, strange open doors. Are you ready now? That every closed door must swing open. Go ahead and shout now. Shout! Shout! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Every closed door! Open it! Hallelujah! 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 hallelujah praise God listen listen hold on please now please just follow me so we conserve time this is what I want you to do listen please this is what I want you to do after the third shout listen to me after the third shout worship as you just begin to play I want you to open your mouth and begin to call things call things after the third shout hold on hold on after the third shout praise god i know we're all going to be excited but you try to stop the moment the third shout is there, just set the atmosphere for us i want you to begin to call things that be not call things that be not you will be surprised my brothers and my sisters are you ready now hold on father in the name of jesus you have sent me to open up the eyes of your people 
and lord i pray i have done as you have told me to do and i pray that you honor this third shout the bible says after two days he will revive us he said but in the third day he will raise us up lord let this be a shout of strange triumph let this be a shout of strange triumph strange triumph are we together now please make sure after the shout whether you are under the anointing or open your mouth and speak call for things are we together thank you jesus are you ready now are you ready now go ahead and shout Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. 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 I call it forth. The next level of my destiny. I call it forth. The gift of man. The gift of man. Strange helpers. I call you arise for me. Strange anointings. Strange favor. Strange favor. I call you for. I call you for. I call you for. Help from Zion. I call for speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Break through to my life. Break through to my destiny. Don't be silent. Don't be silent. Speak. Speak. You are a speaking spirit. Speak. Speak. Every Jericho standing before me. You crumble. Every Jericho standing before me. Every Jericho standing before me. Every Jericho standing before me. I curse you by the God of heaven. I call for strange breakthroughs. Strange breakthroughs. Strange revelations. Strange encounters of the spirit realm. Strange encounters with the world. A new wine. New anointings. New graces. I call for new mantles. New dimensions. Heavier weights of power. Heavier weights of grace. Hallelujah. 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 Fire is burning in this place. Listen. I want us to spare two minutes and rescue our families. Let them tap into this mystery. Begin to prophesy to the gates and say, I have praised on behalf of my family. I command that devil, you must go. I waste the warfare through my praise. I wish the warfare. Mato soto pakata. Rete kete kete bo soto malabaraba. I command it. Let my family members go. I command it. Cause delay. Cause spiritual lukewarmness. Wicked spirits. Powers. By the mystery of praise, by the mystery of praise, oh. 
Alléluia. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify you. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy. on your helpers wherever they are anyone who has the word of prophecy to be your helper I put pressure on their spirits this night and I command them to show up for you 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 I command them to show up for you. Listen. Listen. Hold on. I want you to understand this thing I've been teaching called the gift of men. You've heard me say this thing. Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. If you ignore what I'm saying, you will never rise. It's not whether you may rise or not. No helper comes by themselves. They are invoked through mysteries. No helper. Their people are too busy to come just to help you. But after what you have done tonight, oh no. No, come on. Listen, listen. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Listen. I say it with every sense of humility. Over 80% of the people that sow into this ministry, I don't know them. Some of them are not even koinonia people. I don't know where they are, any part of the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You don't need to know nobody. You just need to know these mysteries. Know them. The mysteries know the people. Are we together now my only prayer for you this night and i'm going to keep praying it until i see that result in your life it says strangers shall come and feed your flock strangers listen hold on many of you have not entered that realm you have only entered the realm of those who know you and so for their love they help you you have not entered the realm of the ministry of strangers listen when the prophet met with listen when the prophet met with saul he said saul as you are going you will meet three men he didn't say three relatives three men they are holding bread they will salute you and they will give it to you in the name of jesus christ i'm praying men you don't know women you don't know People who don't know you from Adam, they will arise and favor you strangely. They will arise and favor you strangely. I command them to arise and favor you strangely. Hear me? Anyone here or any family that has been in the same position for a long time, no matter you have prayed you have fasted nobody moves in your family it's like the devil has kept them in one place no job no joy no breakthrough in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the same way he said i set before you an open door he said no man can shut i command the door to your next level open now I command the door to your next level open now next level of ministry next level of business exploits next level of strategic relationships receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah 
Hallelujah. There are people who must show up in your life. What you need from them is not money. You need their credibility and endorsement. Listen. Some of us, our helpers want to come. But our helpers are afraid of us. Because they have never tested whether we have integrity or not. So they need somebody who has the influence and the charisma. Who has vetted you to commend for you. Joseph of Arimathea had to tell he told Herod, he said, give Jesus to me. You think if the disciples went, they would not lock them up? I will keep drumming this. It's a revelation God gave me for you. You need the ministry of men. All this, I can do it alone. You need help. Oh. Let me tell you, you need help. There are families you need a helper. Everybody that has entered your family caused trouble and destroyed you. Because something called them. Your ignorance called them. Darkness called them. Disobedience called them. Who told you strangers cannot enter and help families? Are we together now? Whoever needs to speak for you where your voice cannot yet go in the name of Jesus this night not tomorrow, this night listen i decree and declare may your discussion come to the ears of your helpers i command men to talk about you to your helpers i decree it i declare it i decree it i declare it i decree it i declare it listen hold on mordecai was not there when they were talking about him Mordecai was seated somewhere. Are we together? But when that anointing landed, the king could not sleep. He said, go and bring me the chronicles. Bring me the books. Read them for me. A king could not sleep. And while they were reading it, he heard that Mordecai did something. And he said, hold on. Hold on. This guy did something and nobody helped him. The voice that will command restoration for you. Hear me? The voice that must say, no, this was injustice. Let's go back and correct it. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. We're rounding up. Tonight's service is a powerful service. Pay attention. Just receive these prayers I'm praying for you. And see what happens you will now see the difference between you and ordinary men when you see the results you command then you will know that there are mysteries in this world life is spiritual hallelujah listen Paul said I desire to come to you once and again he said but Satan when the Lord opened my eyes year before last I was I've not shared this with anybody I saw several people, white men, individuals, several people. And then in that vision, I heard them talking about me. And all of them were in a place like a circle. You know how you use chalk to draw a circle. And the Lord told me, all these are people who have been destined to sow into my life, to bless me, and to announce what God is doing. Come on now. Man, I prayed. Man, I prayed. I prayed. I prayed with my spirit. Let me tell you, when that thing happened, I stepped into a strange level of favor. The ministry of men. There are men blocking you all. There are men blocking your testimony. The moment God wants your helper, an enemy comes before them and says, don't help her, Jimmy. Something happened. Don't help that girl. She used to be a prostitute last year. But you have repented now. Every enemy standing and speaking to your helper I'm praying this now anyone speaking to your helper so that they don't arise to help you I curse them by the God of heaven I curse them by the God of heaven I curse them by the God of heaven Hear me 
I don't care who they are for as long as their job is to stand and change the minds of your helpers someone wants to marry you before he speaks to you a wicked person arises and says, don't don't go to that girl I pray Shado Soto Barakata Engretoske Barashka Rapoto Soto Beketia I cost their operations tonight 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 Hallelujah. I pray for you. The grace to remain ever joyful. The grace to be free from worry. Hear me. If there's anyone here and you don't sleep, simply because the moment you want to sleep, there is a wicked spirit that will bring issues. You have not paid this. You have not done this. Your child's school fees has not been paid. I command that this night will be the best sleep you have had in a long time. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Yes, Lord, we give you praise. He said, let my prayers rise to you and the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Lord, I wave my hands. We wave our hands to you. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge it. Hallelujah. I want to give you an assignment. Please listen. Listen. From today till next Friday, just do this. It's a simple instruction. From today till next Friday, find any time of the day and dedicate just 10 minutes. Hear me. Sing and dance dance before the Lord just do it I know it's seven days it's not easy you can do it as a family you don't have to disturb neighbors you can just stroll around to one forest somewhere just stand behind one tree and dance and watch the God of vengeance I've been saying this thing the God of let me tell you something hear me believe me I speak to you as a servant of God we declare this week a week of strange vengeance strange strange vengeance you may not believe it where records will be revisited and God will say no 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 this family since 1998 I destined them to be free who kept them who kept them Lord I pray that you honor this word that as your people obey these instructions from this night friday till next week friday let there be strength please do me a favor i know some of you don't like sharing testimonies but i would like to hear the testimonies please do that even if it's just because of me on friday once you reach us match to the media we want to hear the strange testimonies i know that you have testimonies for other things but just for this night service you will be surprised you will come back with strange testimonies hear me i pity any man this week that stands in your way as you dance except god is not the god of heaven it has been declared as this week a week of strange results vengeance see that's how to force your destiny to open you you play games with your destiny you will die like a chicken that's how to deal that's how to be recession proof when you force the gate on friday you will be surprised to see what will happen to people some of you from this night now as you are going you will read text messages alerts favors different kinds of things yeah. hallelujah everyone remain standing except if you're under the anointing please just play the strings lightly you are here and you've not been serious about jesus christ you've heard everything that i've said and probably you are someone who every time you hear preachers preach like this and you see people jump and shout in any of the overflows you may say okay man of god i understand what you are doing but i'm not interested i want to speak to you sincerely from my heart a great man of god says you are not safe until you are saved 
this is an opportunity for you to make it right with Jesus you have never given your life to Jesus Christ or you have even been coming for altar calls but after tonight's teaching to see that life is spiritual you are now saying no no I've not taken my life from that angle and I've heard the word of the Lord and I want to make my ways right please you are in the first overflow overflow across the road those online I want you to rush and come out here and say man of God I'm coming here as a sign that I'm not too proud to surrender everything to Jesus God bless you as you come God bless you as you come make your way make your way inside and outside don't sit back life is spiritual life is spiritual make this decision before God's people please clear the way for them ushers direct them please any of the overflows you are outside make your way through the other door those online I want you to just stay connected I'm about to pray with you now keep clapping shame on the devil keep clapping shame on witches and wizards keep clapping shame on the powers of darkness they are coming to Jesus they are coming to Jesus don't be ashamed shame on any power that wants to keep you bound keep coming God bless you keep coming keep coming those outside make your way double up don't allow any friend tell you it's too far run and come you can catch up you can catch up he said you must be born again God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you thank you so much listen to me thank you so much for making this decision It's the greatest decision the greatest decision literally that you can make I don't care what you have done I don't care the way your life has been when he comes he makes everything new brand new again are we together lift your right hand and I want you to pray this after me be serious and be sincere don't tell lies don't play games be serious before God say after me Lord Jesus join them you are coming God bless you sir say Lord Jesus I love you I believe in you this night I have heard your word that life is spiritual and I've decided to make my life spiritual by handing it over completely to you be my Lord and my Savior I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from tonight I'm a child of God the power of darkness is broken over my life I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus now keep your hands lifted father these ones are lifting their hands to you I pray the grace to live a victorious life I release it upon them the grace to conquer everything that is three-dimensional that clamps them down I supply that strength for them Holy Spirit that you reveal yourself in a very strange way to them in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you I bless your destiny in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you thank you for this bold decision now I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you this way in concert just follow him give us your correct details we need it and we'll follow you up God bless you thank you thank you hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. 
And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.